in this mod review we're going to take a look at RTA Mod's brand new FH16 for Euro Truck Simulator 2. Junior Senior! G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're very lucky to have a final beta test version of the Volvo FH16 Globetrotter for Euro Truck Simulator 2. Now this is RTA Mod's special version. Now, I just want to show you quickly while we're out here. This is RTA Mod's version. Look at the detail, okay? Now this is SCS's version. Right? Very nice, but you can see the model is totally different. They haven't just ripped the model off or anything like that. It's Look at it. You can see it's totally different. So there's big differences there in the actual the model itself. So they haven't ripped it off at all, okay? Just before anyone starts saying... Okay, right. Now let's jump into customized configuration and check it out. Now I will let you know guys that this is, yes this is, a paid mod. But here at Junior Senior Gaming we review, we try and review as many mods as we we can regardless whether they're paid or free. We do a mixture of all, okay? So um, if you guys know of a paid mod that you'd like me to have a look at, let me know please. Please, by all means. Alright, so uh, let's have a look at the cabin. So at the moment there's only the 8x4 cabin. Now this is the... This is going to be the final release one that should be coming out very soon to you guys. Now, the chassis that we've got is the 4x2, the 8x4, and the 8x4 midlift. Now, I am going to... I'm going to choose the 8x4 midlift, but for starters, I'm just going to quickly go through and we'll have a look at some of these engines. We'll have a look at the options for this one here. So here's some of the engines here. We've got the 420, 460. So there's a whole heap of engines going right up to 750. Yes, the badges do change. Have a look at that. There we go. So you've got your badge there. 700, 600, 700, C, 750, 750. So even 420. There we go. That's great. So that's good. That works well. Now, uh, off to the transmissions, you have a choice of 12 speed. Let's see, there's a couple of different ones. Diff ratio there. There's the Allison 4500. Do do do. 4500 with Retarder. And there we go. So, look, there's your 12 plus 2, which is probably what I'll choose. Uh, interiors. Now, here we are. Here is the interiors. Now, first of all, I noticed whoa, what the hell is that? Somebody's seat spun around. Apparently that seat rotates, which is interesting. Uh, so you can have that sitting on the side like that in black. There's grey and white, uh, yellow, uh, exclusive. And if you don't like that chair, look look at the bunks there. It's got double bunks. Uh, if you don't like that chair spun around, there you go. You can have it normal, which is probably how I'd have it. Have it like that. And see, there's heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps of different options there. Uh, unfortunately, if you do want the, if you do want the actual um, the bunk there, you can only have it in the, you can only have it with the the side, the chair on the side is what I'm trying to say. So um, yeah, I'm wondering if that chair does animate or anything like that. Let's leave that there just to see if it does. I don't know if it does or not, but let's let's see. I haven't got that far. Having a look at it. Right, so uh, that would probably also one thing with the chair is that would be a problem when you're actually trying to see traffic as well. So I'm hoping that that does rotate. I really am. Now off to the paint jobs. Now there's a few different paint jobs here. We have the uh, Van Damme, right? I must I think that's a, a trucking company. I'd say if we have a look in there. There we go. There's your telephone number for Van Damme. So if you want to give if you want to give Van Damme a call and say, "Hey man, where have you been? You haven't done any movies." You know, there you go. You can give him a call there. All right, now <laughs> off to other. Don't don't really call it. I'm just joking. Uh, there is uh, this one here. It looks very Swedish, and that's got metallic in there. And you can see if you have a look there that the metallic, the third one, does work there. Very good. 
And then there is the skin one, RTA mod skin. RTA mod skin. Um, there's no junior senior skin in here at, at, yet at the moment. So uh, sorry guys. For all the fans out there, junior senior fans. I like the Volvo guy down the bottom there. Maybe one day, maybe one day RTA will do us a nice skin and, and include it in the price. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, then we got Blues, Autumn, Silvers, Black Knights, Deep, Aquamarine. Uh, then we've got uh, any color that you'd like. There you go. And then you've got your Metallic. There is your Amber Glory. Your uh, Grand Citroen. Custom Metallic color. Now I'm going to switch it to black because it makes it a lot easier seeing the first and the second. There we go. And there is the third working perfectly. Look at that. Very nice. All right, uh, then you have these ones here, the Aqua Serenity. So all these are working properly, which is very, very good. It's one of the things I like to look at when I see these these uh, metallic skins, the metallic paint jobs. Um, a lot of them have them incorporated in the mods, but they don't work properly, and which is a real shame. These ones also change the color as well, so you can go and change whatever color you want, blah, blah, blah. So, see if we can change it to white, green, whatever. Which actually doesn't look too bad, does it? Black and green. Uh, but you can go crazy with any one of these. Not sure what's happened there. That one's not quite the way it's meant to be, but it still looks damn good. And then there's that one. And there's the fish skills. Fish scales, fish skills. Fish skills, everybody. There you go. There's a new word, fish skills, for you. Um, I am going to choose what color. Uh, oh, I'm sort of a bit torn here. I like a whole lot of colors in this truck. I really do. Um, let me see. Red. Uh, or no, not orange. How about blue? Let's go a nice blue color. And back up to blue. Make that a bit darker. And then back up to blue again. And make that lighter. There we go. How about that? That's that's a good truck for today. Um, um, that's probably going to change anyway. Because we're just going to quickly go through and check out these options here. And we're going to go back and choose the... Well, I tell you what. We'll use this one for now. And if it does get in the weekly drive, because that's not up to me, that's up to you, then we'll use the heavy haul one, okay? Oh, no, actually, you tell me what you'd like. Would you like to see the heavy haul or just the standard one, if this wins, that is? All right, so first of all, there is steps. So you've got different kinds of steps there. Aluminum, black, and chrome. Let's keep it. Let's go with the chrome. Now, uh, we have just your... That is a plastic bumper. And there's the painted bumper. I can't go past the painted one. I like that painted one. Now, here we go with different kinds of bumpers. Now, you can put... There's different options here for spotlights you can put on. I'm going to zoom in there so we can see them a bit better. And there you go. Now, back to the bumpers. If you like, you can go and add on some other ones. Now... See, they don't actually shine through. We're not using the actual public beater at the moment, but I'm told that it will work on that as well. So, Now, uh, there is the very first bumper. Now, for those of you who don't know, I have seen this bumper on Volvos many times in Australia. This is a common bumper that we would, we would see, and this one here is more common. I've seen this more than any... When I saw that, I was over the moon. I was rapt to see that added on a, uh, a Volvo here. So that's definitely one that I would see here in Australia. However, you can't add any lights on that one there, which or this one here, which is a bit of a bummer. But anyway, never mind. Never mind. Now, uh, moving right along, up the top here, you can get your bug deflector. All right, grill guard, bug guard. Not grill guard, it's bug guard. Uh, inside there is the mirrors. You can go chrome, paint, or you can go plastic. Um, I actually am torn between the chrome and the paint for this model. I really am. 
Uh, then we have long or you can go stock. I'm going to go stock because we're moving up here. You can't actually change the sun visor in this one. Now, uh, going over to the flags. There's flags on the side there. And let's go down to Australia. Why not? I'm Australian, so I'm bloody going to choose Australia. There you go. And so that was that one. That was that one. Now, up the top there you can go and change that to you can take that the light box out or you can put it in there so globe trotter i'm just going to leave it as globe trotter then moving right along down the side here you can go and put on your stone guards oh sorry fairings sorry so you got ones with lights and ones without lights depending on how you want it now having a look at the wheels here there is you can go any of your standard rims that are in here but why would you really because have a look at the look at these rims that are on this i love these rims they are awesome they really are there's your standard rims there and there's the rta rims i like those really do um you can change the nuts if you want and then you can paint those as well now go back here can we paint the rims RTA paint. Yes, you can. So there you go. You can paint the rims if you want. If you want to do it Spider-Man color, you can go ahead and do it Spider-Man color. It's up to you. Black. Whatever you'd like. Uh, however, I'm going to stick with RTA Chrome there. And for the nuts, I'm going to put on Chrome nuts. And the hub, You let's take that off. We'll take that off there. Let's have a look here. Gray or you can paint it so that's pretty good and there's standard just your standard hubs and there you go there's you can add your other hubs on there as well if you want but for this exercise I'm just gonna leave it like that and I'm going to is there any other oh yeah you can paint your cover that's pretty good you can paint your cover there you go and we'll put on a chrome cover all right there we go a lot of options there for the wheels. There really is. Uh, standard. I'm just going to leave it the standard. And then you can go for your rims. You can paint them and, you know, do whatever you want. Whatever. You know, there's heaps of options there. For your nuts, again, there's heaps of options. And then your cover, center cover thing. See, there's heaps of options there as well. So, and uh, hub. Do we have a look at the hub? Yeah, there's your RTA hubs and that so look plenty to choose from guys and that's what i like having is uh, is options so very very good all right um over there that's good that's good well there we go that is all your external options at the moment now um in the inside here you can choose there is your flags a gps if you want to add a gps in there your steering wheel you can change the color of that if you want you can go your gray white you don't know why you choose that orange but anyway you can and then you go down to the same ones here now the difference being right if we go to see how it's got where is it oh it's further down all right so difference being is the, the ones at the top don't have that part in there it's just black these ones down the bottom do so I'm just going to choose a black one don't want the steering wheel too bright and besides it's going to get dirty anyway and then here you can go and choose a whole heap of flags that are built into the actual into uh, part of the game what should we choose um, Euro trucks where's Volvo let's choose Volvo pennant and then we'll put uh, Euro trucks on there on both sides there we go there's the bug guard on the front now the reason I put the bug guard on is because I want to see if you can see through it or if it's hard to see through or what now that is do, 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 that is the mirrors you know how they go paint chrome blah 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 uh, dashboard you can go and put on let's put on hula girl the hula hula and the dog and then we can go and put on whatever you want on there uh there we go 
wallet. And over there you can put a hat. There's a mirror, long or, you know, short. And then you can put eight ball or whatever, fluffy dice or skull or, or disco. Let's put the skull there. Now the seat, you can put on a bag on there. And there's your side mirror. And there is the flag there. Now there is your, um, that is your uh, esky on the side there. So there we go. <coughs> right now let's confirm this one all right and i want to go outside do a quick test and then we'll go back in again and have a look at the other options so let's do a trade in on this mod and then we'll see how long it takes to load well wow, didn't take long again we've got the same problem as we always do lately where the world takes longer to load than the actual truck does looks very nice I like that now um, at the current moment and I will have to keep you posted with more information on this once it's released but it looks like it's going to be about five dollars for this truck guys just in case you uh, wanted to know how much <clears throat> but it, it's not released yet it's just it's going to it looks like it's going to be about five dollars okay so um right so let's jump on the outside i reckon that looks shit hot with that bull bar on there i love it all right let's start her up and see how she goes right new sounds and they'll be creech bums New sounds, right? Uh, there's the lights, high beams, uh, flashes. Got flashes there. Back there. Oh, look at that. Ah, that was interesting. See there, it was shining through. that was just the way that the camera is but it's shining through on the front there it's interesting um on the back there brake lights and there we go reverse it's got my number plate on there very good very good let's listen for the horn and the air horn there you go i love it <laughs> wipers very good there's the wipers and uh, turn off the high beams, turn off the flashes. Uh, there was no drop axle on this one. And let's jump on the inside. Wipers are working fine. All right, cross your fingers for the display. I don't believe I've ever had a problem with RTAs, but there we go. The display works fine. Turn those wipers off and then we got uh, C12 right okay okay now let's go have a look at some of these options over here and then we can go and take this for a drive so some of these other options I wanted to show you as well with the chassis you've got the mid lift there and if we go over to here there you all you really lose is the actual you know the the fender there the the actual side skirt is what you miss and then the rest of it you know is just the tires so not really missing much at all on the side there still the same on the interior and that is pretty much it so uh guys if you want to it's up to you really what you want to have if this does win the weekly drive um then let me know what do you want do you want to have it as a heavy haul or do you want to have it as a um as the, uh, your normal four by two you know let me know please all right so let's go take this for a drive It seems to be driving quite nice. 
Um, that seat is in the road. So there we go. That seat there is something that you would want to change because you can't really... Oops. Jeez. Bad driving. Uh, you can't really see past it, so... You can see the mirror, but that's it. Yeah, there's a big blind spot there, so... That, I was hoping that that was actually going to change with uh, the actual, you know, when we, that was actually going to change when we started the truck. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly go back and change that because you can change that in the, uh, in the option. There's the banana break. Seems to be driving around quite nice. I think if I was to buy one of these in real life, I'd have to have an auto version of it. Automatic, I think. Because imagine driving around with this all day long, you know, changing gears. But once you get it into the gear on the highway, then you don't need to change it, do you? Well, you don't need to change as much anyway. So I'm just going to change that because that really is bothering me, that seat. So, Which is a shame you can't have that bunk. I like that bunk idea in the back there. All right. Let's quickly change that and that will solve that problem. See, there we go. That solves that problem there. Yeah, that'll do. Let's confirm that. Right. Well. There we go, guys. This is the latest mod from RTA Mods. And as I was saying, it looks like uh, it will be about the $5 mark. Okay, so... Um, Really, it's I, I like this. I think it's great. Look at it. I think that looks like a real Aussie Volvo that does. So um, definitely, if you're a um, if you're an Aussie and you drive a Volvo, then this is probably one you're going to be looking at because look at that that bumper there alone just says I'm Aussie. It really does. But guys, it's not up to me if you'd like to see this in the weekly drive. It's up to you. If you would like to see this in the weekly drive, then you know what to do. Punch that like button in the ass. And that not only tells me that I like the truck, but it tells me others, other information as well. And if this is the first time you've seen Junior Senior Gaming, then make sure you head on over to the Junior Senior Gaming channel on YouTube and check it out. And while you're there, why don't you hit that subscribe button. But until next time, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down. And I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on.